Hello, my name is Alex Farrowarn. I'm the Director of Research in the NCART Lab in the School of Computer Science at Ryerson Polytechnic University. This is the second prototype of the Internet Furnace. Uh, in this demonstration, we will show two additional sensor measurements, one for humidity and one for plenum flame luminescence, as well as the temperature uh, measurements shown in the first prototype. As well, we'll demonstrate a dynamic web interface that's able to show the uh, dynamic nature and change of these measurements in real time. What you're looking at is the experimental setup for the second prototype. The lower left-hand corner is a humidistat. In the center is the familiar 68HC11 mini board, and the top is the thermistor and light sensor for the experiment. As in the first prototype, the thermistor will be used to detect temperature variations within the furnace. The photo sensor will be used to detect the presence or absence of a flame within the plenum of the furnace. The humidistat measures the level of humidity of the air being heated by the furnace for distribution to the rest of the building. Here we see a simple web interface to the internet furnace. If you look at the table, you'll see an entry labeled light. When we cover the photo sensor, table entry will change from a luminescence value to a dark value, and it will switch back when the cover is removed from the sensor. Here we show the dynamic measurement of temperature. When a flame is put next to the thermistor, the interface is updated to reflect the increase in temperature. When the flame is taken away, the interface changes again to represent a more normal temperature. We simulate humidity through the manipulation of the humidistat. By turning the dial, we're able to indicate an increase or a decrease in humidity.